Hey, what's going on guys? It's Tops here. Welcome back to another episode of my GT6 Project Thing series. And in this episode, I'm going to be testing out the RUF BTR. Um, now, this thing is pretty weird to try to drift because it is a rear-engine, rear-wheel drive car. But I did manage to get the 50-50 weight distribution by messing around with, with the weight distribution. Um, but... Uh, one other thing that you can uh, you can uh, sort of see that kind of sucks on this thing is the transmission. Uh, and I'm not saying that the transmission sucks, but if you leave it with the stock transmission, you, you like almost won't be able to drift because it's so twitchy and it's so bad to just go around with the standard transmission. So one thing I do recommend if you want to get one of these things to, to drift, buy the fully customizable transmission and mess around with it on like any track. Like you have to change it for every single track because it's just completely different. Um, all the different types of corners it takes and it, it, the car is twitchy itself as it is. So with the transmission, I guess you can make it a little bit more smooth when it goes on, around in like corners and stuff like that. So um, that's another thing. Also, I decided to bring the horsepower down a little bit on this thing as you'll be, probably be able to see if you go back um, in the setup, you'll be able to see that I actually bought the... the, the I actually bought the high RPM turbo, but then I took it off just because it was a little bit too much power. Um, but all in all, it's not a bad car to drift in, but it isn't like one of my favorite cars to drift in just because it's a little bit twitchy to drive and it has just a little bit too much torque. So it sort of goes through the gears very, very quickly. But that's about it. Thank you guys for watching today's video and I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.